September 25th. Goldenrod still full open. Honeybees are working at phenomenal rates. Tremendous traffic. Lots and lots of activity in the goldenrod. Beautiful day out, probably 75 or 80. Sunny. Fantastic honey collection weather. Well, nectar collection weather. Just a quick update. We'll take a look at the top bar hive. Ah, uh, yes. Also, fantastic activity. September 25th, lots of good traffic. Gonna do a quick inspection and see how things are coming, see if we're making any honey. Let's jump in. Hive 18 OR1. This is the slower left hand hive when we're looking at the hives in the front. This box is very light. This comb doesn't look like it's been drawn out much since it was put on. So, uh, not that I expected much, but we just take a quick look. Let's move on to the other two hives. Real quick, like same hive. I'm just hefting the next box down. That's also very light. But there is decent bee activity in the next box below that. I don't know if this hive is going to make it. It maybe needs to be requeened. It's been pretty sluggish for most of the season, so it might be time to uh, make some adjustments in there. Or maybe in the spring. All right, let's roll over to Swarm Hive 1. Okay, just pop the cover. Very nice roar inside this hive. Uh, I don't think we're even going to do much as far as uh, taking that off. I think we're going to take this whole box off. And we'll just heft it and we'll know if it's heavy or not. If you remember from other videos, that box is the one with the uh, non-organized comb, we'll say. Yes, that's still relatively heavy. That's a good sign. That means we have a backup honey box to drop on to whatever hive might need it. It's just having a listen down into this hive. And a quick look-see from the top. Not a lot of whole, not a whole lot of comb being drawn out in this box. Ah. Oh, but I definitely do smell goldenrod honey being evaporated. I know most people say it smells like 30 socks. It doesn't smell like that to me. I've never smelled a dirty pair of socks that smelled so sweet if that's the case. Alright, let's drop down to the next box. Okay, we're down on top of the blue box here. Give you a shot of this box from the bottom. You can see no real progress from, uh, I don't know, when the last inspection, inspection was, probably close to a month ago. Basically, same amount of drawn out comb, not a whole lot going on up in there. Down in here, things are looking good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably six solid frames of bees working in here. And uh, I'm going to, uh, pop this next box off briefly and we'll take a look at the lower colony. I want to see if they've expanded that uh, nest width down the bottom and also if there's uh, honey and weight on this because they're going to need that to get through the winter I think. Um, I have a feeling this winter is going to be a weird one or a cold one. Alright so good news is the blue box is pretty heavy. Uh, that's got a decent amount of honey in it. Bad news is, well, the lesser good news, I guess we would say, is this box is a little bit on the light side. And uh, I almost took it right off of the stand with the other box. Um, they're about half full here in the bottom still. So uh, kind of comes back to something I heard Ian Stepler talking about earlier this season about uh, keeping, uh, about how uh, the nuke colonies that he works with 
they'll work straight up over top of the colony as you add boxes, but they tend not to work sideways. That's sort of a last resort thing, and I think I might have made a bit of a mistake this year uh, in not keeping this colony in one box until they kind of filled this nest out full width. Um, I'm going to leave this other box on over the winter and hope that they can backfill this nest enough uh, to make it worthwhile. I think while I'm in here today and I have it apart, I think I'm just going to pull uh, the other uh, basically empty box out and, uh, and just put this other reserve box back on. I just want to, them to make sure that they're able to get set for winter and come through winter well. And then next year, hopefully, we can get a honey harvest out of this colony. Overall, they're doing really well. I'm happy to see their progress and their growth and their health. Um, I just uh, am not super proficient in managing bee colonies yet. And, uh, you know, they're a new swarm this year, and they were a fairly small swarm. So uh, it's not, not that they're uh, not meeting expectations. I just am always a little hopeful and optimistic. All right, so I'm going to go... Uh, slap this back together we'll move over to the second swarm hive. Hopefully they'll throw us a little honey this year. Let's see. I just put this box back on there a little cranky. And I should mention how awesome this smells. Oh man. All right, on this one hive too. So I just popped the very top box off, the, the super optimistic box. They haven't drawn that comb out really. There's a couple of bees in there, not much. I'm gonna pop this box off next. I think this is probably also a super optimistic box. <laughs> Doesn't look like a whole lot of drawn out comb or honey in there. So we'll bump down one. Just cracked it open here. Very light. Probably going to pull both these top boxes off for now, put them back in storage for the winter. All right, now, this third box here, one, two, three, looks like it's pretty full of honey, mostly drawn and capped. Uh, so I think I'm actually going to get a box of honey off this year, which is awesome. And uh, I'll have to plan to... Uh, Spin this out, extract it. Um, so that should be like I don't know, 40, 50 pounds of honey somewhere in there. If all those, all those are full. Um, and I wonder if maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about just popping this off today, but I don't have a skateboard and I don't not have time really right now uh, to get bees off of this. But I think I'm gonna plan to try and harvest this off. I am gonna uh, pop this, uh, crack this quick, and lift it and uh, heft it, and just see, you know, confirm that it is heavy with honey. Uh, but visually, from the top, it looks like it is. I don't know if you can see. you can hear the neighbor make a noise always all right so I just popped it off I have no idea <laughs> how a corona top got embedded in there but uh, they uh, propolis it right in didn't they <laughs> uh, all right so looking from the bottom we've got one two three four Looks like almost five on that. And then we've got one, two, three frames that aren't drawn out yet. So uh, one, two, three, four. So we've got four solid frames. That's maybe 25 pounds of honey. 28 could be. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave this box on and see if maybe they can fill some more of that up with this golden lug flow that's on. Uh, this next box down is chock full of honey and comb caps, uh, and, uh, and that's good. That's a nice solid winter nest to carry over on. 
And uh, this colony is super strong, super healthy. This queen is laying some awesome, awesome bees. And uh, so I expect next year, if we can get through this uh, next winter, that this colony will thrive, bust out, and produce lots of honey for us. Um, all right, I'm gonna go and put this stuff back together. Uh, I haven't been in for an inspection in so long. It's so nice to get up close and personal with these. Look at all that fanning action, clearing out my smoke. Just quick to show how I get them out of these empty boxes. I just come along and I run the smoker up. And there's a little crack there in the bottom letting the smoke in. And I smoke the whole hive up <coughs> from the bottom. And the bees all come up out, crawl out. And of course they want to escape the smoke. That kind of helps them realize that that's no longer a hive colony. And hopefully they'll come back and find the colonies over here. Um, all right, that's it. Quick inspection. Not a great year for honey, but uh, we lost two hives over the winter last year, late sp late spring, and uh, we got those two hives back in swarm captures, so that's not disappointing. And then we're plus one with that big top bar hive, and I expect that that will produce some nice swarms next spring. So overall. Not a bad year as far as bees go. No honey prize for me. Uh, but hey, we have strong, healthy bee colonies, so I'm happy with just that. All right, that's it for the inspection for today for September 25th, 2020. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on Truth Frequency Radio. Check me out on YouTube as The Pharmacy Seeds Network. And also on Instagram as Reboot Agriculture. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.